The Department of Homeland Security conducting a raid at a house in Holmby Field Hills, believed to be connected to Sean Combs. It just not really be about money, but be about spirit. So everybody that's involved really gave me their spirit, their time, and their love. The hip hop community was shocked by Homeland Security investigators' recent raid on Diddy's home. However, what is the true purpose of this FBI raid? Diddy appears to be encircled by walls as more and more members of his inner circle come forward with frightening accusations against him. Rumor has it that Snoop Dogg may be the next to reveal some incredible details regarding his time spent living under Diddy's house. Is there any update on the latest raid that caught Diddy off guard and damaged his children's reputation? As we reveal the reality concealed behind Diddy's house's locked doors, get ready. Combs' accusation sheet appears to be a terrifying list of offenses dating back to 1990. Lisa Gardner filed a complaint in November 2023, claiming that she and a boyfriend had suffered physical abuse at the hands of Combs and Aaron Hall, the singer for Rahab. Jody Dickerson Neal became well known in 1991 after claiming that Combs had sexually assaulted her when she was inebriated at the age of 19. With each new detail presenting a clearer image of a man whose power and reputation may have protected him from responsibility for far too long, the unsettling litany of accusations only becomes worse. The thing that probably strikes people the most at first is the scope and depth of these charges. There are a few singular occurrences. The pattern of conduct has persisted for decades. Combs' rise to prominence and wealth is closely connected to a traumatic background, spanning from the establishment of Bad Boy Records in 1993 to the launch of his media empire with Revolt in 2013. One of the most graphic stories is contributed by Cassie Ventura, Cassandra Combs' long-term lover. Ventura describes years of physical and emotional abuse at the hands of a guy who had previously claimed to love her in a lawsuit filed in November 2023. Ventura claims that there is a great deal of coercion and terror in relationships, including forced marriages, coerced drug use, and violent acts. She is not alone either. In February 2024, producer Rodney Lil Rod Jones filed a similar lawsuit claiming that Combs had been harassing and assaulting him for a whole year. The other prominent players in the entertainment business cited in Jones' case include Combs and the international music label C.L. Bush & Grange, indicating a network of quiet and cooperation that extends well beyond Combs' inner circle. But the most damaging evidence could have come from the most recent government raid on Combs' residences in Miami and Los Angeles. The operation, which shocked the music industry and others, was carried out by Homeland Security officials as part of a bigger investigation into human trafficking. What mysteries are concealed beyond Diddy's mansion's locked doors? Is this the turning point where the real story finally comes to light? Following the raid, rumors are all over the place. There are tales of encrypted data, secret passageways, and hidden rooms and proof that implicates the guilty that is just waiting to be discovered. Snoop Dogg, who is said to be the next to provide details about his time spent living beneath Diddy's mansion, casts a shadow over everything. Are there any fresh details he can provide on the allegations and recent raid that have caused a stir in Diddy's world? There are rumors that Snoop Dogg may have helped reveal some of Diddy's dark secrets. According to sources in the artist's close circle of pals, surprisingly, rumors suggest that Snoop still despises Diddy and thinks others who act in the same way as him should pay the consequences of their deeds, even if they had previously put on a united front. Snoop hasn't made any statements in public yet, but his quiet says volumes and suggests that a bombshell may be on the horizon. The most fascinating aspect of this developing story though could be Snoop Dogg's metamorphosis into a different person. Despite Snoop's vow to reform, he continues to associate with criminal activity and illegal activity. Many who know the rapper well assert that his new conversion to Christianity has significantly changed his outlook on life.
Snoop just shared a video of himself singing the gospel tune, I'd Rather Have Jesus, on his Instagram page. Seeing this act of faith, his followers were delighted, and many of them offered thanks and support for their own newly found spiritual path. As he considers his metamorphosis, Snoop recognizes the extent to which his perspective has evolved. I used to hate back, which meant that I would hate you much more if you disliked me, as said by him in a Guardian interview. But now I respond to hate with love. His artistic endeavors and interpersonal connections are impacted by this better attitude. Reflect on that and let people know that I was a born again Christian. So it was just time for me to actually put my money where my mouth was as far as like making a project. Unlike his previous albums, Snoop acknowledges that his religious beliefs have influenced his perspective on women and inspired him to write songs about how much he loves and appreciates them. Snoop's history isn't without controversy, though. He had previously led a life mostly associated with the mafia and been embroiled in major judicial battles, including one in which he was charged with accessory to assassination, but was finally found not guilty. Nevertheless, Snoop's experiences have influenced his call to put an end to gun violence. No Guns Allowed is a moving joint project by Snoop and his daughter, Corey B., which uses Snoop's life story to push for legislation in response to the widespread problem of gun violence. There are rumblings that Snoop may have revealed something negative about Diddy, and it's hard not to question how his road to recovery is connected to the chaos surrounding his former mentor. Would Snoop react to Diddy's accusations in line with his newfound religion, or would his background demand something different? Even nevertheless, one shadow stands out above the others among the whirling accusations and conjecture. The menacing specter of Tupac Shakur's unsolved murder. Is there a link between Diddy's current legal troubles and the event that rocked the music business in 1996? There could be more going on than initially looks, according to a retired FBI agent who looked into the details of the Shacker case. Former chief of the Los Angeles field office, Bill Carson, believes that the key to learning about Dew's secrets may lie in Dwayne Keith Du Davis, who is accused of aiding Shaker's murder. If it meant serving the remainder of his life in prison, Davis could be willing to tell the truth in order to save himself. Carson stated that the Italian mafia had changed from the past, and that silence was the norm. If someone is shackled, they will sell out their own mother. Davis might play a significant part in the Diddy controversy since she has maintained that Diddy planned the attack on Shakur as part of the rivalry between East Coast and West Coast rappers. Furthermore, given of their long-standing friendship, Snoop Dogg's view on Diddy's problems may be tainted by Shakur's recollections. Snoop, who has never hidden his admiration for Tupac Shakur, would find it difficult to reconcile respecting his friend's legacy with the harsh realities of modern life. It could be more harder for him to reveal Diddy's dark secrets given his prior involvement in the criminal underground and run-ins with the authorities. There are hints of buried evidence and cover operations as the novel progresses and more details of Diddy's collapsing empire are revealed making one wonder what mysteries lie under the surface. It is possible that the actual world is stranger and more horrifying than fiction. Everyone is eagerly awaiting the publication of this compelling tale of power, treachery, and redemption as Snoop Dogg faces possible exposure. But Diddy is battling valiantly to save his image as the tension rises and the charges get increasingly ludicrous. Diddy's attorney Aaron Dyer has made a brave move, which some may see as a desperate attempt to save his reputation. By openly criticizing what he believes to be the horrific use of military-grade force during the most recent incursions into Diddy's residences. In a public statement, Dyer did not hold back in denouncing the way Diddy's staff and children were treated during the operation and labeling the raids as being excessively harsh. Declaring there's no excuse for the overzealous use of force and hostility shown by the government, Dyer painted an image of a man overtaken by powers beyond his control. But Didi's legal woes don't end there. 
Dyer maintains that his client is innocent and that he won't give up on clearing his reputation while the trafficking probe is ongoing. Responding to what he saw as an unwarranted rush to judgment brought on by fake allegations made in a civil case, Dyer stated that no criminal or civil responsibility has been identified in connection with any of these assertions. The faltering firm appears to be facing closure despite Diddy's combative demeanor. It's possible that Diddy is facing the most challenging struggle of his illustrious career, with the public against him and federal agents tightening their grip. As the drama plays out, it's difficult to remain mute and wonder what other bombshells are brewing within the music business and beyond. Fans contrasting views on social media over Diddy's ongoing court issues and the impending FBR raids are dividing the public's perception. Evidently, a lot of supporters think Diddy is not the only one who needs to answer. Someone said, anyone who knew this and did nothing is just as guilty. Meanwhile, rumors that Snoop Dogg helped Diddy with his covert revelation have caused a great deal of speculation among followers. A fan brought up the fact that Snoop Dogg was the one who initially expressed his desire to collaborate on a track with Puff Daddy and Bad Boy Enterprise. This revelation raises concerns about Snoop's motivations and if his cooperation with Diddy's Bad Boy Enterprise reflects his position in the unfolding dispute. We would be interested in hearing your opinions as we continue to explore the complex web of accusations and mystery surrounding Diddy and Snoop Dogg. Do you think that people who keep quiet have anything to do with Diddy's supposed transgressions? What possible part does Snoop Dogg have in bringing the truth to light? Drop your comments below and join the conversation. Until next time, stay tuned for more updates on this gripping saga.